Your live well on your Express 330 is just here behind the starboard helm seat. To use it, you'll first need to open your seacock, which is just below your aft berth. Open the seacock by raising it up. Once your seacock is open, you want to insert your standpipe. It's stored in brackets here on the left side of your tank. Notice that the bottom is threaded with holes through the threads. What that allows to have happen is when you screw the standpipe in place, allow part of the hole to be exposed. That'll let sediment drain off the bottom of the tank while the top of the standpipe maintains the level of the water inside the tank. So now we'll screw the standpipe into the fitting in the bottom, leaving part of the hole exposed. And then come to our live well switch here in the panel right beside the live well. Now remember, this panel gets his po its power from the accessory switch panel switch down below on the main breaker panel on the AC-DC panel. So once we know that switch is on downstairs, then we'll turn the live well switch on, which will turn the pump on and bring water in through the seacock and into the tank. That water comes in through this vertical plenum here, and you'll notice there's holes on the end, the inlet's behind that plenum, and that lets water come into the tank through those holes, filling the tank with, with new salt water across the whole column of water that's in the tank, which is very good for the bait. So once you have the water coming in, then you can close the hatch and lock down both catches so that the lid seals tightly against the seal and the water stays contained in the tank. When it's time to shut down your live well, simply turn the switch off. You can choose to leave the standpipe in or take the standpipe out. If you've left the holes exposed on the bottom, the tank will drain itself and then go below and shut the seacock. 